Ducks in behind the nine as they get ready to make that left turn. This is where we're going to see that how much Byron it, it, are his tires giving up. Can Paul Menard make a run off of turn four or off of turn two that's going to benefit him down these long straightaways? Paul Menard can just break even with him in the corners. That will give him an advantage down the straightaways with that draft. So that's what he's got to do. He's got to inch up corner by corner, straightaway by straightaway to ultimately get that position. It's not going to happen in one straightaway. It's going to take a few to make this happen. Three laps to go. Paul Menard has closed the gap now. Paul Menard's so good at this racetrack. Has won the Brickyard 400, his lone cup win. Can he add an Xfinity Series win to that resume? You see Byron doing everything that he can to break any kind of momentum, any drafting effect that Paul Menard may be getting off of his car. Looks to the outside. Is he going to three? That block hurt William Byron's entry into turn three. He entered very shallow. That helped Paul Menard on the exit of three. Through four and back onto the front stretch. This time by, it'll be two laps to go. They both were on pit road at lap 57. The other question is, do they have enough fuel to make it all the way to the end? William Byron doing a nice job, especially in the turn one. It's easy, especially as you're trying to block someone to do exactly what Jeff pointed out that he had to do in turn three. But now hey, he's making a wide arc into that. That's keeping Paul Menard at bay right there, not letting him get the run that's going to allow him to get up the side. DJ, you're exactly right. He's making his car, essentially he's making his car wider by making that big arc. And now he's blocking. Oh, William nice. Byron blocking that time as they go into three. Byron just in front of Paul Menard. The two have separated themselves by almost two seconds. They're in front of Logano. You see the advantage for Paul Menard is down the back straightaway. He's got to try to break even with William through one and two to get that big run down the back straightaway. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. The white flag in the air. Menard looking to the inside, then the outside. William Byron blocking both times before they got into turn one. Mark tried to get to his bumper, see if he could launch him up right there at that point in time. Here's his last chance, really, of making this happen. Got a good run off turn two. Down the back stretch they go for the final time. William Byron, a car length in front of Paul Menard. Byron now coming up on lap traffic. Will that affect him as they go through the final turn? He goes to the inside of the 52. Will Paul Menard have anything for him? Coming out of the front stretch. The first time he's ever been to Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Will he be able to hold him off? William Byron wins at Indy. Good job, man. Hell of a job. Good job, guys. two weeks ago when William Byron thought he had won at the biggest stage, Daytona. And in his first ever start at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, the 19-year-old is going to be able to kiss the bricks. years old. He is the youngest driver to win an NASCAR race at Indianapolis.
tight spot to be doing that. So, you just think back to Michigan whenever he lost by inches to Denny Hamlin. I think the learning experience that he did there. You know, we're starting to run out of superlatives to talk about this young man. He's just so very talented. And the different types of racetracks that he's won on. Almost won at Michigan, a two-mile track. Comes on a seven-eighth mile track at Iowa. Uh, goes to Daytona, wins a two-and-a-half mile track. And comes to Indianapolis, a flat track. First time ever with this package. And gets the job done. You may not realize how far he is away from the start finish line. As he climbs out of the car to celebrate with the fans, it wouldn't be elation. William Byron continuing to accomplish amazing things in his young career. Marty. It is incredible what this young man has done. I think mean, the bigger question is what does, can this young man not do? The fans here at Indianapolis, and, and you get to go kiss the bricks later. Did you ever dream as a 19-year-old you would have a Daytona win and in Indianapolis when you told me you had such a reverence for the history the moment you came through the tunnel here? Yeah, man. I, uh, I just have to thank God. I, it's really amazing to be here. Uh, you got a lot of great people around me, and uh, it's very humbling to, to be at uh, Indianapolis and, and win. I can't believe that tire held on, but uh, that was that was awesome, man. It was so fun. This is hallowed ground. What do you want to say to these fans? Because Victory Lane at Indianapolis is a very special place, William. Man, it's so cool. This is awesome. I mean, I've I've uh, never been to a Brickyard 400 or an Indy 500, but watched it as a kid, and uh, man, it takes a lot to win these races and uh, to win here is so special. Just thanks to all the guys on this Liberty University team to get Liberty a win this year is really cool too. So. Uh, can't wait for the rest of this year, but we're definitely going to celebrate this one and kiss the bricks. You got a date with some bricks, but first you have a date with Dave Burns and Victory Lane. Congratulations. Sounds good. Thank you. All right, the tire held on Rick somehow, and that's what he still can't believe, but William Byron getting pretty good at this winning thing here in the Xfinity Series. How amazing. A young man who has never been here. He said he's never seen a Brickyard 400. He's never been here in person for an Indy 500 win. He is able to win at one of the biggest stages. He wins at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. He'll be in victory lane next.